This week, we say goodbye to Dally Waters and continue heading north to Catherine for a farm stay like no other. Oh. We purchased the world's largest zucchini before enjoying more hot springs with the locals. Next, we camp up for a few nights at Edith Falls for a family hike to one of our favourite swimming holes in the NT. Smash the like button and make sure you're subscribed for more feel-good content. from uh, Queensland originally. Yeah. yeah, so I'm Stan the Sun. This is Jasper, you gonna say hi? Hello. 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 Look at this, oh, frozen yeah. mango and dried mango. Oh. <coughs> yes, please. Mate, okay, what's no, what's no. the deal? Tell us what the spiel is. One for seven or three for 20. Okay, and in any combination? Oh. Awesome, well we better do both. Two frozen and one dry? Let's do it. Sounds good? Righto. Jasper said, can I just have that for dinner? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Tasty, sweet. There you go, Jasper, that's for you. Oh, you, you say thank you. Oh, oh yummo. And it's local mango. Yeah, all grain. Oh, so wow. Good. Oh, it's freezing. Oh, my God. Come on, dried. Smell that. Here you go. You're in charge of the money, oh, honey. Money. There you go, and you say thank you very much to this gentleman. Amazing. And uh, do you come around all season here? Yeah, every night. Yeah. Every night, and uh, sometimes you you do have uh, some fresh produce as well. Is it always yeah, just mango? Zucchinis. Oh, zucchinis. Yeah. We've got zucchinis here. Oh, do you want some zucchinis? We probably should. Yeah, we better get some zucchinis. Have you got zucchinis now? And the other side. Holy crackers! Hold that. It's thirty dollars for a zucchini, mate. No, it's like I'm kidding. Put that in my fridge. <laughs> that that is unbelievable. Four dollars. Yeah, I know that. That's amazing. I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to fit it in our fridge. That's amazing. Three. Are they little like yellow squash? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? camera gear, stuff, it is packed down, here we are, look at this beautiful day here in Catherine. Oh, how good is this wet? This is the ultimate winter weather, isn't it? It is just so perfect, blue sky days, 30 degrees, cool of a morning. Yeah, look, I went out for a bit of a jog this morning, get my fitness on, 13 degrees. Yeah. She's a little chilly on the willy, yeah. but it is, as you say, it's warming up now. I'm going to be 30, 31 degrees. Awesome, though. We are headed to Catherine Springs yes. on our way out of here, and that is running at about 32 degrees Celsius. So It's my kind of temperature. Love it. I love right. it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about here. It is called Catherine Farmstay, and it is a family-owned and operated business. been running for three years. This is really probably the perfect Northern Territory farm stay if you've got kids. It is a great spot for families. They're about 10 minutes out of town. They border the Catherine River, which we're in croc country, right? So you do have to be croc wise when you're here. They have got a sign up that says croc spotted here recently. Yeah. I mean, they do say and that- And then next to that is a sign is, have you seen Jim been missing for a couple of weeks as well? No. Just kidding. Okay. There is apparently <laughs> Good barramundi in the river if you can catch them so do that at your own risk what's so great about this place though is there's so much space for the kids to just yeah. run free and there's plenty of activities to keep them occupied there's a really fantastic playground jasper just loved that and the pool next to that is 
fantastic. It's yeah. one of the, the better pool. It's a surprise. Yeah, you know, it's got that sort of resort complex feel about it, which is an unexpected treat here in this kind of environment. Yeah, and then they have more animals on site here that you can it, go and see and feed and pat. It should be called Catherine Mini Zoo. Menagerie, Farms. yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. There's emus, there's a massive selection of birds, a macaw even. Yeah, donkey, They've... reptiles, saltwaters, freshwater crocs. Yeah. I mean, more pythons. Children's python. Do you know why it's called a children's python? What? Because it likes to eat children. Oh, just, right. Don't blame me. And they're all in their enclosures, so you yeah. can feel pretty safe about it. But yeah. really good fun and really great hosts. Yeah, they do a, a daily afternoon feeding with the animals. So again, that's a great activity for everybody to go and join in. And yeah, lovely family operated. They've got powered sites, a whole range of powered sites, actually. If you in, can do unpowered, our tip would be do that. That's what I was going to say. The powered sites, are, yeah. they've sort of got a bit of a caravan park vibe. It's a bit tight. In a bush environment, we yeah. snagged the last two unpowered sites. Now, here's a hot tip. Book. We just rocked up thinking, oh, look, we're on the edge of the high season, no worries. We got the last two unpowered sites. Look, that is because this place gets such a good mm. rap. Being 10 minutes out of town, yep. you can be assured that you feel safe. Yep. It is quiet. Yes, and except for the roosters that start at some ungodly hour. Yeah, we think Cluck Norris. <laughs> The rooster has been following us up. All right, we're off to Catherine Springs, and then it is on to Edith Falls. One of our, I mean, it's in our top three locations for camping if you love your waterfalls in the top end here of the Northern Territory. Love it. If only they could figure out how to make the water temperature at Edith Falls warmer. Ah, should be right. So cold. We'll get over it quickly. <laughs> You want to go? No! Out on a hike, Jasper, you ready? Yeah! Yes, how good is this? We absolutely love it here at Edith Falls. Uh, it's in our top three, as far as a, a family experience with a stunning campground and then those epically beautiful waterfalls. Yeah. We think this is a must if you're doing any travel road trip to Northern Territory or you're doing your lap around Australia, make sure that you stop here and camp for a couple of nights at least. Yeah, this is the NT at its absolute finest. Um, the campground is hello, within the Nipmaluk National Park. It is part of the NT Park's booking system now. Last time we came, you'd line up at the kiosk to get a site. This time, you do have to book online, get your campground. For us, it was $35 a night. Um, look, it is part of the National Park, so the sites aren't huge but there are I think just under 50 sites Wow. Um, a lot of them are quite small for tent camping but when you're booking just really 
have a look at what's available. They give you the site dimensions. I think this time around, our site number eight was eight by seven meters. We fit fine. There are bigger sites, but there's only probably four or five that can accommodate really large caravans. Yeah, uh, yeah a hot tip there would be campsite number 11 which our, our good friends, Mr. and Mrs. First Aid, Anthony and Loretta from Getting Lost Down Under, they were on campsite 11. You could pretty well stay hitched on that yeah, site. That, and they've got a 21 foot van, so. That is true. And last time we were here, we were on site 32, which was also fairly large as well. So just check out what's available. This way, baby. Um, it is quite shaded. There are so many trees in the campground. So, you know, it's not the best campsite for Starlink or solar, but it's so beautiful. So does it really matter? No. No. Now, obviously no power, uh, no water direct at your site, but there are a handful of drinking water taps. And so look, if you're staying for four or five nights like we are, you can fill up your 20 litre jerry cans and then obviously use your adventure pump or uh, you know a water transfer solution like that is perfect. But this is really just the start of it. This is the lower pool. This is what you come for. Yeah. Come around here a bit. I mean, it looks like something out of a theme park. It, it really it? does. It looks like, you know, they've had an endless budget to <laughs> do the perfect mock rock. Uh, now, where we're headed, we're doing the 2.6 kilometre loop. If you enter in an anti-clockwise direction, which we are doing, it's 1.6 kilometres. So our recommendation would be knock that over first if you want to do the complete loop and get started earlier in the morning mm. no later than mid-morning now it's 10 30 a.m look by 11 30 by the time we get to the the upper pool it'll already be 30 degrees so yeah. yeah really think about that because although it's a fairly moderate i wouldn't say it's easy you do have to have a fairly good level of fitness some of the steps in the train are quite steep at the very beginning and then from there on, it's pretty easy going. Yeah, once you're up, you're sweet. And you're rewarded with the most stunning, stunning upper pools and waterfall. Yeah. It's like you've just been transported. I don't know where. It's just incredible. In Jasper's words, it is absolute paradise. Yeah. This will be his and my third visit there on this trip. So oh, that's why we say come for at least two or three nights and get up there as much as you can. There are three other walks as well that you can do, but the upper pools is the absolute highlight. Yeah. The upper pool, however, is freezing, same with the <laughs> lower pool. So you may need to like sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then slowly edge your way in to where you can like swim around, maybe with even a, a noodle. We saw some people with noodles. Great some idea. Great. Yeah, great advice. All right, let's do it. How good is it here? Edith Falls, I just absolutely love this. Look at this. Just for an A! What is this? Venture pump saves the day. Before enlightenment, fetch water. I'm obviously not 
enlightened enough. <laughs> After enlightenment, fetch water. <laughs> so good. Okay, we have field tank one. Now, hot tip <laughs> is that where the water is coming from, okay, is over the other side of the park. So go and fill your water containers up, <laughs> up near the actual, I guess, main water source because then they come out heaps quicker than, say, over at site seven, which, you know, it takes 20 minutes to fill one container. There you go. Uh, the other thing too is that we mentioned only a couple of larger sites. Pretty well, most of the outer circle sites are large sites. All of the inner circle sites are a lot tighter. And that's what we've noticed. So really check it out and try and book a fair bit in advance because this place gets very busy. And meanwhile, Jasper just sits back and does nothing in the hammock. Hi. No, you've been a great help today. That's what you meant to do in a hammock, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like you've got more water on your head than in the actual container, Jasper. I've washed my head down. Yeah, it's pretty warm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah let me take that. Thanks. The last I'll five take meters. This. Thank you. Is that nice and cool? give it a go. Preheated the Nomad, the Ziggy, and oh, you remember morning. the world's good morning, largest zucchini. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That is the size of Jasper's head. And what's really cool is that we have preheated the Nomad, okay, and I think you only need it on like a medium heat. From what I've googled online. I'm going to spray these down with some olive oil, salt and pepper, chili on one side and then you cook them for about up to five minutes each side and that'll make them really soft but not sloppy which is good tip. And then I'm flipping back over to do the other side. I'll actually go chili side down first and and then when I flip them back over I'll sprinkle that with mozzarella cheese. Okay, okay. breakfast of champions. I don't think Jasper will think it's the breakfast for champions. No, I know, but I am, hello again, starving. Love it. So I can't wait. Here we go. Bang. Olive oil. Bang, Chili. Bang. So I'm just grating awesome. some cheese for you. Little Jasper out the back there. This is really beautiful when you can back onto all of this green lawn. Jasper over there having a bit of a kick with some new mates. The hammock. And we are going to kick on in a minute. We're going to actually pack up camp and we're heading to Adelaide River, the home of the Jumping Crocs. And uh, we're going to be staying there at the showground. I think it's called the Showground Society. Anyway, it gets a great wrap and we'll probably hang out there for a couple of days before making our way into Darwin. Can't wait. Look at this. Who would ever thought that paying $4 for one zucchini was acceptable? Oh, and that it's for like three meals. Are you kidding me? So good. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, he's a bit thin on that thin side. On that side, that's right. Yep. <gasps> yeah, that's right. There's a spatula there, which might be better because that's sort of putting a hole in them, but that's okay. Sorry. Jasper's. <laughs> mm, he's all right. He's playing footy, so that's nice. We can have a bit of a peaceful meal. Ooh, <laughs> Look at those. So good. Thank Love you. Love it. I can't wait. I have to go. All right, try it. That thinner one's going to be a bit messy, unfortunately. That's all right. I thought I'd start with him just in case they're still really hot. Yeah, they do come off scorching, obviously, because there's so much liquid in them. Oh, God. Isn't that amazing? That is so good. <laughs> oh, I love it. Righto. Thank I'm you, in. Mango Man. Yeah, thanks for the zucchini, Mango Man. <laughs> Thanks for watching. 
please do like, subscribe, and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly magazine articles, and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family, and happy trails.